Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do ear candling by yourself. So I've got my ear candle right here, I've got my pan that I can poke it through, and a lighter. The pan makes it easy in case there's any flames or pieces of the candle that fly off. This is a hollow candle. So you like just go ahead and light that on fire and then stick it in the hole. Kind of like that. And you just kind of wait for it to burn down. It's kind of awkward right now because usually my fingers would be underneath it and not on top. So, so that was a little awkward, but <clears throat> this is how you do it. You kind of have to wait for it to burn down all the way to the bottom. Well, there's a band that'll tell you when to pull it out. And I think that band is right where the, the foil is probably. <coughs> My mom came up with this technique when she was having a lot of ear troubles and regular ear oil wasn't doing the trick and we tried the water treatments and the little things that you get they were supposed to suck the wax out and none of those worked but this actually works fairly well My mom used to do this for me and <clears throat> it's been almost a year since she's passed and every time I do this I think about her standing behind me in this bathroom and talking to me and it was you know just a mother-daughter bonding time where she was going you know showing me some love and I really really miss her and her memory stay with me always it'll be a year on <clears throat> September 9th that we lost her but you know, she's still in my heart and I love her dearly. And for all of the people out there that are going through tough times right now, I want to let you know that, you know, grief is difficult, but it is possible to live with it after a while. As long as you've got a good support system, like a shout out to my besties, Karen and Denise and Kathy. <clears throat> John Kozak, Michael, Michael Johnston, all the people from Castor Valley that I love, Willie, Shannon, Jason, Pam, Yvette, Aaron, Steve, Kelly, Demetrius, all you guys mean a lot to me. And I thank you for helping me on my journey of self-discovery and healing. So it's getting kind of close right now. I think I'm gonna take it out. Let me see how much is longer till the band. Can you see the band? Oh, it's still got a little while to go. It's hard to tell. You have to really do this in the mirror because there's no way to, you know, you're lighting your head on fire. You're, <laughs> you want to see what you're doing. I admit at first I was skeptical that this would work, but after seeing the results, I was really quite pleased. And since I had mastoid surgery in 1995 and had a tumor taken out of my ear, the ear canal is not shaped normally, so the wax really has no way to get itself out without this way or going to <clears throat> the ENT and having them suction it out, which is always really painful. So I think I'm going to take this off. Okay. So from there, I kind of just, just put it in the sink. Always make sure you're running your fan. Make sure there's lots of cold water on this. Okay. 
see if I can turn myself around. I don't think I can. Anyway, I'll show you the results in just a minute.